have one research program that's called Governance of the City-State. As you know, Singapore is a successful global city, um, but it has a very unique history, very diverse population, a very small size in a particular location of Southeast Asia, no natural resources. So these conditions present a unique governance challenge. And the question is, given that Singapore is a country that's the size of a city, that is a city which needs all the different conditions of a country, how can we manage uh, the process of creating economic and social vibrancy uh, going forward in a very uncertain world? In the general research program itself, we have a focus on economic development uh, through our Singapore Economic Roundtable. We also have quite a lot of focus on political attitudes. Then political and social cohesion are very important to us. Some impactful studies that we've done uh, have to do with the use of, um, well, various means to address fake news. Another area of study that we've done is in the social networks that undergird social cohesion in a very diverse population uh, in Singapore, which itself is a very open city-state. So one or two surprising findings is that firstly, while we believe that race and religion are important social fault lines that we must continue to manage, the surprising finding was that actually uh, the relations among people across different social classes is not as strong as we believe it might be. So therefore, there's a lot of work that can be done at the public policy level, but even more so at the community level to ensure that bridges are built across different people of different social classes. So what we hope to do is really to pull together thinking, theory, research on different aspects of governing Singapore, be it public sector management, be it uh, managing infrastructure, as well as our limited resources like water. Um, questions of how we do economic transitions in a small state seems easy, but in a small state that's a very open economy.